moment to thank you. This is Insight Vision. I want to provide a, a tutorial on our mainline crawler system. I want to show you the ease and the setup and use of our mainline crawler system. Uh, this system comes with both a manual and motorized reel. When I say reel, this is the reel that it comes in. Your footage available is 400, 500, and 600 feet. What you also get is the viewing screen. We call that a command, mod command module. That's where you're going to be viewing your inspections. I'm going to basically walk you through setting up the system when it comes out of the box. Again, this is the reel. Uh, in this particular case, we have a swivel base that our command module can sit on. This is an option that you can get with the standard system. The command module mounts onto the swivel base and it also snaps into place. Again, swivel allowing you to have a tabletop for the viewing of your command module and your inspections. Standard with the system, you get recording to a USB stick. Uh, that's how you'll be doing your inspections. To connect up the crawler system, you're going to need standard power voltage. That'll go into AC, DC, that'll go into the wall. Uh, most guys use a generator that you'll be using to uh, apply the power to the reel. Command module itself, it has internal batteries that are good for a three to four hour charge. Uh, when the command module needs to be charged, there is a wall charger that comes with the system that will allow you to charge the unit. To hook up the system and get the crawler ready, we have what's called an interconnect cable. This interconnect cable simply snaps on to the reel with a military clip, you should hear the, hear the clip connect when you have your arrows lined up. Same thing, you have an arrow on your interconnect, interconnect cable on the back of your command module. Line up your arrows and that clips in. Down below is my, where my cord is, my power. That's going to the wall or again a generator. That's the basic, basic setup of your crawler system. Okay, I want to just provide you with some information as to some of the items that come with uh, your crawler system. Again, this system is simple, it's affordable, it's portable. Uh, we got a good quality image on the command module. Uh, for your inspections of your pipe, this crawler is designed for 6 inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch pipe. We give you an opportunity to upgrade the wheels on the crawler itself. This will get you into the 12 inch, the 15 inch, and the 18 inch pipe with these. Uh, within your uh, tool bag that comes with the system, you will get an owner's manual. You will get the wall charger that will allow you to charge up the unit. It does have internal batteries. Uh, this is when it goes down. You'll be able to charge that. If for whatever reason uh, you do not have your wall charger, you do have an opportunity, we will provide you a cigarette um, charger. It's not a charger, it will power the command module up in the field. So it will allow you power in the field through the cigarette lighter. So those are some items that come uh, with the system. The wheels are an add-on feature, as well as you see on our crawler system, we have a swivel base that is also an add-on feature that you can add to the system uh, to make it more uh, easily used in the field. On. Okay, I'm going to walk you through connecting the crawler to the reel. On your end connection, you've got your pins that match up to the pins on the back of the crawler. What you want to do on your crawler, you have what's called a strain relief. Okay, your strain relief is going to slide over the cable. So then when we make this connection, there's actually a notch that will match up on the crawler. When you line that up, you'll know that it's secure. You turn the lock nut. 
your strain relief will connect. We're adding a strain relief here because we want the connection of the strain relief um, to take most of the weight when the crawler is in motion. That simply locks into place. You want to make sure that your cables are straight. There is a natural bend in this cable and again that is so most of the pressure when this crawler is moving is on your strain relief cables and not on the cable itself. When you have this crawler set up and you're ready to drop it into the pipe, we provide you with what's called a lowering device. Uh, most people will just use a standard rope or some kind of other material to connect. This basically slides onto the notches that are on the side of the crawler, which allows you to again lower the crawler into the pipe. This is to alleviate, once again, any pressure. You do not want to take and lower the crawler into the pipe using the cable. That's why we provide the strain reliefs to, to relieve the pressure on the cable and also the lowering device into the pipe for the cable. So those are key points that you want to use for the use of your crawler system. Do it. Okay, now that you have your crawler set up, I just want to remind everyone it's a, it's a quick job setup. Uh, when you have it set up, your system is available and ready uh, to do easy recording and using your, your camera system. Uh, on your command module, just to give you a brief overview, I've already powered the unit up. On the keypad, you will notice you have an on and off uh, switch that is powering the unit up. On the face of the command module, when you are ready to do a recording onto our command module, you need to hit the on-demand recording button. You will notice I've already done that. Uh, I have a green light that is showing that my system is ready to record. Our standard recording, uh, we provide you with an 8 gigabyte USB stick. At any time that you've done this uh, powering up and quick setup, uh, you can put your USB into its port and you are essentially ready to record. You can see the system identified the USB and so it is ready for uh, viewing and recording. On your command module, I'm just going to walk you through um, some of the features that are on the command module. Your system has a microphone that allows you to do audios on your recording. It has speaker volume which allows you to control that audio. We have an integrated text writer that provides you with fields. I will scroll through those for you. You have company information, you have the address, phone, email. Those are all accessible to you on the text writing screen. You can put in client information. And then you also have a blank screen where you can use the keypad while you are doing your recordings where you can put some personal notes into your inspections. Those are all quick, easy features that are available to you when you are using uh, our crawler system. Uh, to be able to use the functionality of the system, we provide a pendant for you. Uh, that is how you will function the crawler. You have forward and you have reverse, you have run and stop. And then you have a speed control dial that allows the speed of the crawler to be controlled. Because you have a self-leveling camera inside your crawler system, uh, there is also a button that if your crawler were traveling down the pipe and for whatever reason it would uh, go upside down and the camera would self-level itself, you have an option with the rollover button uh, to reverse the functions so that when you are bringing your crawler back in, uh, it's not fighting itself. Uh, this is a motorized 500 foot system, so the, the reel is motorized. You also do have the option of it being manual, um, so that it would be manual cranking up the uh, reel when you are ready to bring the crawler back in. I will just go over the quick and easy functions of the crawler itself, just to see it in motion. Uh, right now I'm on stop, I have my system at forward. 
I'm just simply going to hit the, the run and control my dial and my speed to see the crawler moving. Notice on the screen of the command module, you can see the crawler moving. On screen, you also notice in the upper right hand corner, you have a footage counter. One of the other functions on your command module is I can position my distance counter anywhere on the screen, including making it disappear. So again, nice key features to have while you're doing your inspections. Uh, going to do the reverse of the system. You want to make sure that when you do the reverse of your system, um, you turn your dial down to uh, the speed being off before you uh, go in reverse. You don't want the crawler to move without you being in control. Again, go to run, and you are controlling the speed in which your crawler is moving inside the pipe. Very simple ease, very simple use. The setup is, is fast, easy. Uh, the use of the command module uh, is very user friendly. Uh, I can also go through the function, functioning of recording onto your command module. Uh, in our initial setup, to record on your command module, you are going to use your remote control. Um, the features that you may want to use are your microphone and turning up your speaker in order to have your audio during your recording. Simply turn on your microphone. You will notice the blue light goes on when you're doing your microphone and that it will show that it's on on the screen. You have a speaker volume that allows you to turn up the speakers and have audio during your recording. And then it is simply, your USB is, is plugged in, simply hitting record on your command module. You'll notice in the upper left-hand corner there was a record circle that came on. Now I can also provide to you, my if you hit your display on your remote control, uh, you can see that there is a distance counter uh, that's showing that you are also still recording. So it's kind of a backup feature in case you miss that initial uh, circular screen letting you know uh, that you are recording. When you are done recording, uh, if you want to use any of your text writing fields or if you filled those out, um, this is where you may want to flash the information onto the screen. Uh, so that it's captured inside your recording. Uh, then you just simply press stop. You'll notice the black, I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, red box lets you know that the recording has now stopped. To play back your recording, you press, simply press play on your remote control. All your recordings have defaulted to your USB drive that you had plugged in. So it's highlighted to USB, you press OK. You have what's called a FAT32 file, you're going to hit OK. You're going to scroll down to Recordings. And you will notice I, I have a test in here, but there is the recording that we just did. And it also has a timestamp that it will be associated with it. It will be previewed onto the screen for you. And to make it full screen, you simply press OK. And that's simply playing back uh, your recording that you've just done. One of the uh, accessories that we, we like to provide for you uh, is what's called a sunshade. Uh, this is basically designed for when you are out in the street doing a re during a recording uh, and you have the sun glare. Uh, this will allow you to strap this to the command module and provide you with a shade. It simply gets mounted. That allows you to be able to shade from the sun. A nice key accessory 
you'll see that our recording uh, is showing right now. Um, you can also get on this command module what's called a daylight readable monitor. Uh, that also helps prevent glare. Uh, so again, I, I want to stress this is a very easy, very intuitive, simple machine to use. Easy setup, fast setup, uh, and uh, it's, it's a very easy, simple system.